Well, let's talk some tennis here in Ghana, and uh, we're talking development tennis as well. Now, the Hope Performance Tennis Foundation is putting together the second edition of a tournament and a clinic for uh, younger and talented players, and uh, it's happening from tomorrow. Now, here with me in studio to discuss and uh, look further at the development base of tennis is uh, Cedric Jalou, who's the executive director of the Hope Foundation, and also Enoch Godi, who's the president and founder of the uh, Hope Foundation. Uh, this will be happening at the Accra Stadium uh, this week. Gentlemen, thank you very, very much. Thank uh, you for having us. Thank you. Thank you. Now, um, let's quickly get into it. Um, let's quickly review the first edition of yeah. the tournament and uh, the clinic. I'm more interested in, you know, the clinic and how much uh, traction you, you, you got from that one and um, how effective it was in terms mm. of the young ones that you trained. Yeah, so uh, last year, for instance, you know, we had a success in the program because last year was the first edition. And when I was coming from the state, my goal was to have 150 kids, you know, but we end up having 480 kids, which is a plus, you know, for us because, I mean, looking at this case, you know, coming out there to have that fun, you know, was something that was excited. But, I mean, our goal is to make sure, you know, we're developing the game, you know, the, so the young ones that are coming up is going to benefit from the game. You know, hope performance, you know, it's all about, you know, trying to, trying to give, give that, that, that side of the game, you know, to the kids because, like you see, most of these kids, they are playing the game, but they're not having the fun part, they're not enjoying the, 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 the fun part of the game. So hope performance, we are here to give them the fun part and then also provide them with this equipment that they're going to need to sustain themselves in the game. Okay, so 480 kids took part in Last the first year. one. Okay. Yeah. Now, um, Cedric, I want you to tell me about the, the first tournament as well and how that one went in terms of the level of competition, what you noticed about the players and their level of performance and how good they can be, I mean, compared to other players on the continent. Tanya, let me start by commending you yourself. You've been, I mean, doing amazing with development tennis and I have been... Uh, longing for a chance to say thank you for what you're doing for oh, Ghana Tennis. You. Back to Hope Performance Tennis. Last uh, year, like our president said, 480 kids. We had participation from 12 clubs, you know, from the Greater Accra region. Wow. It was massive. We were expecting about eight clubs, but then eventually 12 showed up. Now we realized that most of the kids had the passion to play tennis, but were not having the technical abilities, you know, in terms of the game. So our high performance coaches, you know, ensure that these kids will receive the technical you know lessons the drills that is required to take them to the next stage we also realized that their level of interest was sustained from the very first day to the end we were we were a little bit you know in effect thinking that the numbers will reduce drastically as the days goes by because you know from the clinic to the tournament not everyone gets to participate in the tournament so we felt that when it gets to the tournament part, those who are not participating in terms of age category, you know, will, not, will fall out. But then they were all at the stadium watching, you know, these games. And it will shock you that even players who were underrated, players who, you know, have not been to the scene before, have not played a major tournament, you know, came up. Either they were second or third, even first place. And to us, that was, you know, a big success. And we think that the kids have shown greater interest mm. that they are into serious business and they have a chance, you know, at becoming future champs. Eric, I want you to tell me about, you know, this year and what will make uh, this year, you know, unique and uh, a must participate in. Exactly. <laughs> All right, thank you for the question. Yeah, this year we have a whole, like, we have a whole lot of concepts, we you know, with this program this year. You know, last year was, like, you know, unexpected, you know, but this year we're very ready, you know, for the program. Like, each and every kid that will show up at the stadium is definitely going to work out with something, you know, whether strings, whether racket, whether shoes, whether clothes, whatever it is they come up with, they're going to work out with something. And last year we had, uh, it was only Winnipeg that participated, but this year we're going to have, we're going to have like four, four regions, you know, coming. You know, we have Tamale, we have uh, Wa, we have uh, Ashanti region, we have uh, uh, Sunyani. Sunyani, you know, also coming. So all these, all these people are coming and then we have a lot of people, you know, coming from Accra and Winneba as well. So, I mean, this year we're expecting, you know, to see a bigger number over there and we're expecting, you know, to, 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 to see like, you know, kids that haven't played a game before and we know through this they're going to they're gonna fall in love with the game and that is going to sustain them, you know, to play the game of tennis as well. All right, so uh, interesting stuff there. Now, um, everything wraps up. is a one-day event, isn't it? No, it's, no, it's a four-day four four day event. Four days, over yeah. four days. So it starts from uh, tomorrow and goes all the way down to the weekend. Yeah. Okay, very well, very well. Um, now, um, let's talk about the level of support that you've received. I mean, you're based in the U.S., so yeah. talk about the, the support that you receive. I mean, um, 
resource-wise mm -hmm. to be putting this together? Yeah, so uh, Hope Performance is 100% non-profit organization, you know, that is registered at the state, you know, and we've received support from a lot of people, you know, we've, rec we've received support from the G uh, GT GTA, the GTF, we've received support from HEAD, we've received support from Wilson, we've received support from PTR, which is the Professional Tennis Registry in the United States, and then uh, my club that I work with, which is Atlanta Athletic Club, so those are the people that are supporting us. All right. Now, um... In terms of participation, what will be the mode of participation that kids have to come in, register between now and, or they, they register on the same day and take part? Can take that. Mm. It is an open uh, invitation. Everyone that comes there comes there freely. But the coaches who are going to participate with their kids in the tournament have already registered. Okay. So we are not charging anything, but then we have the clubs already who participate in the club tournament from the Friday to Saturday. But for tomorrow to Thursday, it's an open invitation for every kid that show up there. Mm, I see, I see. Interest. Um, let's uh, wrap this up, but we're also looking at the long term. I mean, what's the long term plan for Hope Performance here in Ghana? So, so the long term plan, the plan for Hope Performance here in Ghana is our goal is to go to the Virgin Regions. Now, the Virgin Regions is our top priority because, I mean, like I always say, I, I, I mean, I have my tennis career in Winneba, the uh, National Sports College in Winneba. That's where, you know, I, 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 become a, I become a full, you know, tennis player, you know. And let me give thanks to, you know, National Sports College and Coach Noah because they gave me that platform, you know. They gave me the ability, you know, to be able to, you know, come up with my talent. And, I mean, there are a lot of kids that developed or came out through National Sports College that today, most of them, are, even if they are living here in Ghana, they are living a better life. And a lot of them had a, a tennis scholarship that they are in the United States or outside the country, all because there was tennis in, Nash in Winneba, you know. And if there were no tennis in Winneba, I would not know where those kids going to be by now. And now, tennis is not that effective in Winneba. So I'm just wondering, how, where is these kids going to go and how are they going to, you know, how are they going to unveil their talent that they have in them, you know, a few years to come. So Hope Performance, our goal is to go to the virgin regions, the regions that don't know anything about sports, don't know anything about the game. Then we're going to establish, we're going to establish a base there where we'll train young people that are coming out to how to train kids, you know, from the age eight and up, you know, so we give them the equipment and then they will take the start from there. Yeah. All right, gentlemen, thank you very much. All the best. And uh, our cameras surely are going to be there to, uh, you. you know, capture all of the activity. Thank you very all right, so uh, you heard from um, Enoch uh, Goody and um, Cedric Jalou. Uh, they represent uh, Hope Performance and they're putting together this uh, development tennis program here from the 4th uh, to the weekend. Okay, so that's how we wrap it up. Thank you so much for watching. And um, remember, there's a lot more sports content. You can follow our social media handles. It's Joy Sports GH on Twitter and Instagram. Enjoy sports on Facebook. I'll be back tomorrow, 14 hours at the same time. Thank you very much for watching.